Our in-depth coverage of the first snowfall of the year continues now. Communities across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts spending most of the day making sure the roads are ready for tomorrow's storm. And the DOT also working to make sure area roads and highways are prepared. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian continues our in-depth coverage now live from the mobile newsroom. Well, Mike and Shannon, we're here overlooking 195 in East Providence. And aside from the typical rush hour traffic, it's pretty smooth sailing for folks who are out on the highways tonight. But that might not be the case tomorrow. And so the Rhode Island Department of Transportation is now preparing for the first significant snowfall of the season. As the sun sets on Friday, preps are underway for Saturday's snow. First storm of the year, they're all excited to get rolling. RIDOT State Highway Maintenance Operations Engineer Joe Bucci says their plows are ready to go, ready to clear whatever accumulates on the state's roads and highways. We're going to have all of our state trucks on, which is uh, we have around 145 state fleet vehicles, and all of those will be on the road. Along with the plows come the sand and the salt. This salt pile here in East Providence, all 3,000 tons of it, is just a small fraction of what the state has stockpiled for this winter. We're starting out with about 60,000 tons of salt available to us. Bucci says they won't be pre-treating the roads. Hopeful the early in the season timing makes the snow less likely to stick. That's actually going to be a little helpful because the road temperatures are up a little bit. So um, that, that helps us out. And while Saturdays are usually a quieter time on the roads, Bucci says with holidays just around the corner, tomorrow might not be. I know it's a difficult time of year to tell people to stay home, so we won't do that, but um, we're going to do our best to keep everything passable so folks can get out and do what they need to do. And coming up new at 6, we'll take a look at this storm by the numbers, including how many plow drivers will be out on the roads, how much road salt is costing taxpayers, and what the state has budgeted for snow removal efforts this winter. For now, reporting live in East Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Well, tonight, DPW crews are across the region getting their salters, sanders, and plows ready. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage for you live from the mobile newsroom. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, it is cold but clear out here tonight overlooking 195 in East Providence. Not a bad drive for commuters tonight ahead of tomorrow's snow. Not a single flurry Friday, but the Rhode Island Department of Transportation is ready for Saturday's snow. We're going to have all of our state trucks on, which is uh, we have around 145 state fleet vehicles and all of those will be on the road. With warmer ground temperatures, Rydot's Joe Bucci says pre-treating won't be part of their plan, but they have plenty of salt at their disposal. We're starting out with about 60,000 tons of salt available to us. All of that salt and sand has cost Rhode Island taxpayers nearly $22 million since 2014, but the cost of snow removal is something the state budgets for annually. This year, they've put close to $20 million aside for winter maintenance. In fiscal year 2017, it was $15 million and 20 million the year before that. Fiscal year 2015, more than 22 million dollars. Well, we have to keep our roads clear. So if, if we're over, then the, the adjustments get made. And if we're under, then that's a good thing. It's that's extra money that comes back to the state some way. And in addition to those state trucks, Bucci says they also have about 350 vendors at their disposal, but they're looking for more. So if you'd like to help with RIDOT's snow removal efforts this winter, you can find out more about how to apply on our website, WPRI.com. For now, reporting live in East Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kim. The live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team will be tracking the snow all night and through the weekend. Follow them on Twitter and be sure to like us on Facebook to get the latest updates.